Hello once again. It is X. I am Axel. Axel for short. <laughs> uh, as we uh, left off, we just actually recovered our charge beam, and uh, we are now about to uh, talk to the uh, computer commanding officer. Atmospheric stabilizers, stabilizers online. You may, but many X have already made it to another, se to other sectors. It seems, in particular, sector two. Tra. The tropical habitats shows abnormalities. I suspect that X. Oh, sorry. I suspect the X entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. Here's something. Uh, we need to get to the end of this. Yes. All right. Let's start moving on. Um, sorry. Didn't know the mess was there. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Now a cutscene. Not a cutscene. Quick. Briefing. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me. What he would... Oh, he would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of no noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. That's... It's kind of a good question. I mean, like... I don't know if any of you people have seen uh, the movie... Uh, I robot or something, but anyway, the main character in that movie, uh, Will Smith, played by Will Smith, uh, has an innate fear, uh, hatred of robots, mainly because when uh, spoilers, he uh, was actually I'll wait for the spoilers. <laughs> I have learned the identity of the mystery saboteur. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. Ah. I've named it the SAX. I believe the SAX came to the capsule containing your infected power suit. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay, and that was the explosion. Sorry, I knew what I was going to say before it happened. X started uh, spreading. Definitely our biggest worry right now, and the SAX is mimicking you at your full power, and we only have just recently recovered a charge beam. We're still vulnerable to cold as effect of the Metroid and ice beam. Of course, uh, Samus was equipped with that with most of her things, but... So, we still have to retrieve these bombs. Level 1 hatches. We gotta get to that data thing. Alright. So, it's marked on the map. We'll have to find a way there somehow, but the data, the uh, security stations are actually not marked there. So, we will have to go there. Let's go. Go, Team Axel. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, the main character, <laughs> Will Smith, <laughs> I'm such a scatterbrain. Will Smith, uh, basically, uh, he, uh, he was saved by a robot, and the robot did some probability checks and something, like, hey, it was him or this little girl, and Will Smith obviously would have saved the girl, but the girl had a less probable chance of living, so that's why you have to wonder, can you trust a computer? Because... The computers typically will go with the most logical thing. They don't put into uh, any account like you know, uh, trust. They don't uh, really consider many uh, different aspects of like just maybe luck could be involved. If they deem it probable to not actually happen, then um, they will not do it. So we unlock the level one security hatches, which is actually a problem because if you remember, the X actually weren't spreading to this region. Like, or weren't spreading to any of these regions until uh, the computer unlocked level zero hatches, so I can only imagine the uh, unforeseen threats that await us uh, in the future. But uh, yeah, so let's move on. I do you find it interesting that uh, Samus is able to download new abilities to uh, her power suit? It's almost kind of like her... Um, through uh, data, she's able to have, like, new processable, like, kind of techniques and stuff, and, like, in a general sense, that's just, like, mind-boggling if you think about it, like, you hear that stepping? Anyway. Can I know? Come on! Got ourselves a missile team. Uh, as you can see, uh, something has changed. Ooh, we can't get past there anymore. So, um, one big thing in this game is, if you don't know where to go, it's typically a good idea. Ah, sorry. To, um, 
just spam your bombs. Because your bombs actually are capable of showing you where, uh, or what is required to destroy certain things. So if nothing shows up, then that just means that it can't be destroyed. So if I were to like blow up like this or something like that and like try to attack that, like nothing can happen. But if uh, we wait for this to respawn, if it does, I don't think it does actually now I think about it. But um, like we would, uh, that you'd see like what it was, what was required to blow it up, or if we can't blow it up with the bombs, then we can see what is needed to blow it up. So yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, we will continue onward. So the creatures are getting a lot more uh, dangerous. You remember in a uh, sector one, I think it was that uh, basically the main, ooh, uh, the main floor and uh, sector one that we really couldn't destroy anything, like what, or we could destroy pretty much everything with um, one blast, and that was like you know, one blast, easy, GG. But uh, now everything's a lot harder. So it's definitely as the game like gets more progressed, the game difficulty increases. Makes sense, yeah? Alright, so like I said before, you have to, uh, unless you know where everything is, and you'd have to uh, basically spam your bombs all the way around, so. But uh, that definitely just uh, sh goes to show that, uh, oh, you, uh, the amount of exploration that is accessible to you in this game. Sorry, I can hear people outside and it's distracting. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, speaking of outside and people distracting you, every single mo Wednesday of, like, my life, this, like, past couple of weeks, oh my god, there have been some sort of DJ blasting some sort of loud music outside, and I just so happen to decide to not get sleep that night. So, guess who gets woken up by the loudest bass drop you've ever heard? <laughs> if you thought me, you're correct. <laughs> anyway, I enjoy doing these uh, one a sector kind of things because it's kind of like a the storyline doesn't it progress typically um, until we uh, what is it? Until we figure out the problem and complete our objective and. So after we completed our objective, which was to uh, get the bombs, we actually couldn't return to uh, our computer, to uh, to the navigation room. We have a boss here. We couldn't return to the uh, navigation room because uh, it was blocked by the SAX, so it was slowly directing us to a different direction. Even though there is exploration game in this game, and you can do almost like kind of what you want, it still has a somewhat linear path, but you could go for like 100% it, oh god, it's hard to uh, concentrate and do this at the same time. But yeah, you could either like 100% it, or you could like do like whatever the heck you want. But uh, yeah, as you can see, like, this uh, this creature has a uh, very, not obvious weak spot, but uh, after drastically trying to uh, fight, try to kill it, you uh, notice that you couldn't really uh, heard it any other way until it like opens its appendage to and I'll get caught here so you can see actually get caught and then it'll, you uh, use your new uh, bomb technique to uh, escape but uh one thing to note is that typically these creatures have um uh some sort of link to the ability they like will give so um for example, the last boss, we, uh, I don't know if you remember, but um, he, or it, was, uh, it charged its uh, attack before it, uh, it was able to charge its attack before it uh, attacked us. So um, that, and in turn we ended up getting a charge. So after seeing that boss, what could we get here? And it turns out we actually got a high jump and a jump over. Okay. And this opens access to so much for us. It's so nice and convenient because now we can pretty much just jump wherever the heck we want. <laughs> but uh, I digress. 
I don't know, I just wanted to say the word digress. Have you ever had just that, a word or something that you wanted to use? Like, maybe not necessarily the word digress, but my point is that, have you ever had a word that you just wanted, that you learned recently, and you were like, ah oh man, I can't wait to use that in a sentence or something like that, and people would be like, oh, what's a... Uh, Anthropology, and you're like, oh well, you know, thank God that I'm an anthropologist, and you're just like, well, that makes no sense. You're crazy. And here we have our first threat. He, uh, the SAX is always in the back of your mind, which I like as an enemy, but it's very obvious that we cannot fight it, and if we do fight it, we will probably end up dying, just because of how quiet the music becomes and how. Uh, just uh, slowly it walks. It's just, it's a very intimidating creature. And I like that about uh, the uh, SAX, as it would be. But um, now we are, we are able to uh, easily jump around now. Before we were only able to get like a more or less tiny hop out of our jump ball, which was uh, kind of unfortunate, but uh, hey, we uh, we get the upgrades, we use the upgrades, and then we get more upgrades, and that's how you play the SAMS Samus game. <laughs> Why did I spell it out? I don't know. Because <laughs> spelling makes me feel smart. I'll spell another word. And oh, that was me telling myself to stop. Thank you, me. <laughs> and with that, we are pretty much at the end of this level, so we will... Uh, Recharge ourselves because uh, who doesn't like being at full health and full missiles? I do. Not I I, I, I do like not I don't not like. It. But uh, nonetheless, that is the end of this episode, and I thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.